Hello there guys, Tom here. Today I thought I'd show you how to, well no, not a how to, uh, I'm going to be reviewing a product. I'm going to be showing you this infected, very infected virtual machine here. I'm going to showing, uh, be showing, I'm going to be using, you know, a certain type of product to remove the infections on here. Now, this is like, uh, my own antivirus. I've asked, so um, I've gotten a, a, a uh, I've gotten a you know alert from them because you know the threat is contacting the internet. So it's actually contacting the internet on my you know it's actually going through my connection in other words. But anyway, I'm going to be showing you how to get rid of this this crap with my uh, with one of my favourite antiviruses which is Komoda so I'm going to be actually getting it now just to prove that there are viruses on here uh, you know we've got all these bad things going on here we've got commands warning we've got um, LT1237Z we've got all these random processes so I'm just going to go to home and home office I'm going to say Komodo antivirus now, if you get Komodo Internet Security, that's also free. That means that you get a firewall with it. I don't really, I don't really mind with firewalls, to be honest. I just use the um, the Windows firewall. So I, I, I would, if I was going to use this, I'd just use the antivirus. So click free download right there. Depending on what operating system you're on, you know. Uh, if you're on 64-bit, go for this one. If you're on 32-bit, go for that one. If you're not sure, I'd say go for Universal Windows and Store. So I'm going to say 32-bit. I'm going to download that. I'm going to say Save. And, you know, obviously I'm going to pause the video here. So I'll be right back, guys. See you in a minute. Okay, that's finished downloading. I'm just going to open it. Now what I like about Komodo is it has this great thing called Defense Plus. It's what you call HIPS and that means Host Intrusion Prevention System. And is it gonna uh, And what HIPS is is it's basically when you install it it will index everything that's already on your computer. Excuse me. It will index everything that's already on your computer. And so anything that goes onto the computer, you know, after it's been installed, just like anything, you have to give it access. So you have to grant it access and say, you know, it can modify it. And I think. I think that it can sort of tell what's bad and what isn't in a way, but it's not signature based anyway. But when I install this, it's going to, I'd say, if, if I open up the task manager, I'd say that most of those things are just going to be gone. Well, not gone exactly, they're just going to be stopped and they're not going to be able to do anything to the, uh, to the computer at all. That is the, um, the virtual computer. Anywho, just waiting for this to load up. I've already done one test with this, so I know I know what's I actually know what's going to happen. I'm just going to go full screen. Right, so install Komodo Antivirus Two. Next. Uh, I'm going to say no because I don't want to mess up my in internet connection. And click install. Now, in this newer version, you don't actually have to reboot once you've installed the antivirus, and it doesn't actually really take that long either, so it's pretty good. You know, pretty damn. Uh, no? Don't know why I said that. 
and pardon me, sorry, actually yes, it does need to reboot, sorry, I, I've, um, I got myself confused with something else there. Actually, it's better not go into uh, full screen. I know it's been about like uh, a month before I made my uh, last video. Well, I made I made one uh, yesterday, you know, on uh, Komodo Dragon. So you know, I thought it might be a good idea to uh, follow it up with Komodo Antivirus, since that's what they do, really. Yeah, but I've just been busy. Is the thing so. This is not something new by the way, and I think it did this on the last time I tested it. See, I know that I could like go ahead right now and just like, you know, terminate all these processes, but like the thing is I want to I want to actually show you how it does on its own. I wanna I wanna show you exactly how it deals with this computer you see so that, that's why I want to you know wait for this thing to uh, to run I've just lit I've just literally downloaded this by the way that's why I, you know I, I, I'm just saying that's why I had to uh, Pause the video. I'm actually going to pause the video again whilst I'm just waiting for, for it to complete. So I'll be right back. Okay, so it completed and it says click finish. So click finish. And then it wants me to click finish again. So that's pretty weird. And yeah, you have to restart the computer. So click yes and restart the computer. Be right back in a second whilst that reboots. See you in a minute. Okay, guys. It's, yeah, it's coming back up now. Now, when I when I boot into Windows, you will see that Komodo will have quite a few pop-ups here, like one after the other. So if we just wait for this. Take it out of time here. Obviously, because you know we've got viruses on this virtual PC. Um, now I noticed that the real time icon down here isn't here. I. Okay, it's completely frozen up. This thing is like totally, totally slow because of all the viruses that are just running on here. So I'm just gonna be after. I'm just gonna have to be um, patient with this. I don't know, I'm afraid. Uh, ah, there it is. And if we wait for this to go by, <laughs> excuse me. Right, there we go. So you know we've got all these 
you know, quite a few things that are running in here. So, Komodo Defense Plus Alert. Net1P is trying to access the DNS RPC client service. So it's seeing that, it can see that it's trying to do something to it, trying to modify it and try to, you know, just do something to it. So I'm going to say submit the files to Komodo for analysis so that it can, so that Komodo can do something about this and I've just stop it getting onto people's systems. I'm going to remember my answer. I'm going to say block. To see what some of the more options. Oh, I'm going to say block this request. Uh, oh, right, okay, I say block this request. Treat this further, uh, uh, and okay. Block the request. Submit the file. Okay. So, yep, has more. Um, it would seem that it's gone out of my way, so, uh, block the request, submit the files, OK. Block the request, submit the files, OK. Yep, submit the files, OK. Yep, right there, it's trying to start at Start, uh, start up. There we go. Block the request. Okay. Block the request. And I believe that is. I don't think that's a, a legit uh, task file. So. Okay. But with Defense Plus installed, you can be pretty sure that. Um, you can be pretty sure that whatever it says is not right, you know, just is bad. You know, you just really, really, really should not, you know, you shouldn't let it be on your system. You know, you should, you should go ahead and block the request, submit the file, remember my answer, okay. Block the request, remember my answer. So, trying to do things quite a lot. Block the request. Okay. And you know when you when you install Komodo, if you have like a really bad virus infection, like I have on here, obviously you know just keep saying block. You know because because you just you know with Komodo installed, you're pretty much safe to say block because. Excuse me for that. I'm gonna double click on the desktop icon. Now, I actually have not updated this yet, by the way, and it's finding quite a lot of stuff on here, so I just shorten this window somehow. Just come out a little bit too big. Okay, here we go. So, you know, I've blocked 18 intrusions. If I click that little button there, it shows me a little log of everything, you know, everything that's it's been taken care of. If I go to Defense Plus and view an active process list, I love this feature. I've still got some bad stuff running, so lt8.exe. Um, whatever. Um, lt.exe, if I right click that and click terminate and block, yes. Now, what it's just done is, is it's terminated that application and it's just blocked it. So now that ap application will just never run again unless if I go ahead and, you know, unblock it. I can do the same for this. Do the same for this. Do the same for this, and finally do the same for this. Now all of those processes are gone. I can disinfect this computer with with absolute ease right now. Now we've 
got a, a few things here. If I go to defense plus settings, you know, we've got um, things it has. The, we've got sandbox. That's a very good thing. That's free sandbox as well. That's amazing. So, you can run a program in the sandbox for your choice. View defense plus events. So that's that thing again. Trusted files, that means that it will protect whatever files that you put in there from being modified. Unrecognized files. Right, so those files will always be run sandboxed unless if they are trusted. Now, here is computer security policy. Now, this bit I love. We've got defense plus rules. Now these are all the things that I've blocked. Now obviously these are not blocked, these are real things, but those things right there are all bad and I've blocked them. Just by, you know, right clicking and, you know, clicking terminate. Now if I go to block files right here, now I absolutely love this. I can just go ahead and click delete file and I can delete these without with ease. So if I just select all of these right now, click delete file, do you want to delete the selected files? Yes. Those files are gone, they will not ever hurt my system again, that's it, it's over. Komodo has just blocked them and the game is over for them. So anyway, I'm going to say OK to that. Sorry about this. It seems to be crashing. There we go. But yeah, I'm just going to uh, I'm just going to check that. Yeah. Okay. Those have been applied. Anyway, now what? I, now, if I were you, you know, it's 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 detected quite a lot of stuff has come out of. So what we want to do now is run a scan. So we're going to be, you know, we're going to click update now. And the update is already running and it goes quite fast. I know that it, it does look quite slow, but I can assure you it does go quite fast. So I'm going to pause the video and I'm going to be right back. See you in a minute. Oh, guys, uh, there was a little thing that I forgot to mention. Um, if you go to unrecognized files here, it says one unrecognized file is going to be observed and be treated as partially limited. Well, uh, if you click on the, the number right there, now I know that I know personally that that is not a good file. So if you just if you can, there we go. Lt1.exe. I know that's bad because it's it's ran it's been randomly named. So if I click delete file. Yes, that one is now also gone. These are my other uh, submitted files, so the, those are the files that have been submitted to Komodo and will just forever be blocked once they've got them in their virus definitions database. Now the update is nearly done, so I said that it wouldn't take long anyway, so... If you don't want this little box, by the way, you can click hide, and the you know the definitions will still be updated. You just uh, you know you click the inevitable being updated right now button. And you just click that, and it shows you. I can warn you now that you know watching a virus database update is pretty boring, but you know anything to pass the time. You can see right here in my task manager that those processes that I terminated with Komodo, you know, ever since I did that, that they they're not there anymore. They're just gone. You know, I mean, those things they were terminated and then blocked. You know, you know, I mean, and then I could just simply go into Komodo's interface and just delete them. 
You know, I mean, I mean that is just like amazing, okay? You know, and this is like a free product as well. I mean, this is just free. If you, you know, want a good antivirus that you don't want to pay for, uh, I'd say go for this one because the, you know, if you install this. I don't really see how you could actually be infected ever again. Yeah, I'd better pause the video. See you in a minute, guys. Hello, guys. That update has completed. So now, what you want to get, do is you want to. I'm going to go for the steps that I have done before, many times before. I'm going to go to computer, right click, properties. I've already shown you how to do this for Windows 7. I'm going to go to System Restore, turn off. Yes. Uh, I'm only doing this, by the way, to you know make the scan time a lot lesser. So I'm just going to go grab CC uh, C Cleaner. It will let me go to the page. Yeah, there we go. Download from the form. Start download. Save. And with this, of course, this is a, a legit application, so I can prove to you that, you know, what Komodo, how Komodo is going to react to this, so, next, I agree. Install. Now, look at that. Now, I know that, that you know, Komodo uses a HIPS system, but that was a legit application and it let it install perfectly. No, no fuss. Just let me install the program. That was it. I'm just gonna. This, uh, by the way, if you're like you know, if you're not, if you're like really, really get confused with computers and you're not really good at them. This program is not going to remove viruses. It's just going to make the the virus scan a lot less longer. So you know, you just you if you're getting if you want to get your computer clean or someone else's clean, you want to you know just get it over and done with. Now here we have temporary files. Blah blah. Now see that right there is a virus and it's in temporary files. So. So, just by coincidence, CC Cleaner is actually going to be able to hopefully get rid of it because because those files can't do anything. But the thing is, is is that something as simple as CC Cleaner can do it because it just needs to be deleted. If you see what I mean. <sighs> I hope that makes sense. Anywho, still waiting for this to carry on. <laughs> I believe that uh, this folder right here is the Komodo temporary folder where it downloaded its virus database update. So we're nearly done. Oh, okay. Let's have a look at this then. Interesting. I'm gonna say clean. That might be a malware cookie. I'm not sure. Clean. Okay, I'm gonna hit analyze again. 
well, it analyzed so that I can see that it's clean. Sorry about this everyone, I think it might be lagging a bit because of Camtasia Studio. Because I know that Camtasia Studio does seem to slow things up a lot for me. Anywho, that's done. So now let's get on with it. We go to Komodo Antivirus. Antivirus. We want to scan. <coughs> Excuse me. We want to run a My Computer Scan. That will scan everything. Hit Scan. It will check for updates. Just before it begins scanning. This shouldn't take too long. It's up to date, and here we are, we're scanning. Now, scanning does not take that long at all. Um, it takes a few minutes, but of course I'm going to be pausing the video. So, I'll be right back in a second, guys. Hang on. Hello there, guys. As you can see here, I've uh, scanned the entire computer and threats found zero. Well, that's all well and good, but I know that there's still some stuff on here, possibly. So, I'm going to go and download Malwarebytes. Now, this is exactly what I did when I did my test. So, you know, this, this is just exactly, you know, what I did. So, I'm going to go to Malwarebytes.org. This thing is is so cool, you know. I mean, it's, it's free, and you get a second opinion, and you get free removal as well. The only thing that you have to pay for is real time protection, and I I personally think that you don't really need it because I don't really think it's that good to be honest. To be honest. I think it slows down the computer, and I, and I think that if you use a very good free antivirus anyway uh, as your real time protection. Like I use a bass now. Um, I think that really, you know, just for the second opinion, it should be alright. I don't know what this is about. Never mind that. And my resolution has gone crazy again. Save. D the download is pretty fast. They seem to have mirrors rather than. And you know, an actual download from their server. You know, they don't have their own download server, and I think that, that would be better for their product. You know, because you know it's their thing, isn't it? And you know, this it installs so fast as well. And you know, it's such a tiny, tiny, tiny installer file, seven megabytes. About maybe 15 to 20 when installed, I don't know. Okay, it's going to update Malwarebytes. It goes quite fast. Sorry, sometimes because it's a virtual machine, sometimes the uh, the resolution goes a bit messy for some reason. The database was successfully updated from version five three six three to version one six one eight six. going to get rid of these things. Oh well that's great. <laughs> Just created a, 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 short, a shortcut. Right there we go. And I'm going to do enough pass with CC uh, with C cleaner. I often get that one wrong. 
from the cleaner. <laughs> now if Komodo is pretty quick this should be much more quicker so I'm just going to go to update make sure I have the latest version go to settings let's say terminate I'd say, I'd say two two days for that one. Scanner settings, you want check for removal for that, check for removal for that. For all of those, go back to the scanner. Full scan, scan, C drive, scan. I'll see you in a minute or so, or however, however long this takes. Uh, okay, guys. So the scan's going by, but. We have Komodo antivirus alert. Blah 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 blah. Right there. Now, what is interesting is it says currently scanning Windows System 32. This one has just found that, and it's somehow I have a feeling that because Malwarebytes hit upon it, that this Komodo has just detected it somehow. So that is very 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 weird. So I'm going to say clean. Same thing happens again. Clean. Again, clean. I'm going to say no to that. That is very, very odd that. That is just so weird that Malwarebytes would like instantly pick it up just as soon. You know, like Malwarebytes picked it up and then Komodo came up and said you know, here's this file, you know, which Malwarebytes has just detected. Do you want it cleaned? So, I don't know if that's just quint I, I don't know if that's just how they both behave or something, or if they are partnering up together on the quiet. I don't, I don't know, it's just my thought about it, really. Alright, I'm just going to pause the video again, and if any more pop-ups come up, I'm going to unpause it, obviously. See you in a minute. Okay then, guys, that scan uh, just completed. Click Show Results as Display, and we've got 19 infections. Show Results, and these are pretty much the same results that I got as last time. Uh, you know, registry values, files... I, I thought those got removed. So I'm not sure if they did or not. I don't, I don't know. Uh, and yet, though these are dot job files. Those are malicious job files that are not good. And these are registry keys. Seems to be one. Or uh, that's a hijack. Uh, I know that. On my last, the last time that I was doing tests, uh, Internet Explorer was opening opening up on its own, delivering all these ads and stuff. So, you know, in like a little box, you know, like when I showed you that adware video. So, all of these are checked, and I'm going to hit remove selected. And once this is done, I would say that, you know, this computer is clean. I'd say that it's done. Okay. That log's been saved. Your computer needs to be restarted to complete the removal process. Blah, 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 blah. Yes. And we'll see what happens when we come back into Windows. So, we'll see you in a minute. Hello, guys. I've booted back into Windows. And, you know, so everything looks okay. I go into Task Manager, right there, 
get to it then, yeah. You know, everything in here looks really normal now. Komodo seems to be giving us a high CPU for some reason, I don't know why. It seems to do that. It seems to uh, give us a high CPU at the start up, but there we go, it's sort of calmed down now, I guess. So, uh, yeah, because you see, I, that's why, I, you see, that's why I would just get the antivirus on its own, because, you know, obviously Komodo Internet Security is like a free, uh, you know, security suite, and they, they tend to slow a computer down quite a bit, so I'd just rather get the antivirus and, you know, mal malware bytes, anti-malware to back it up when I need to do a scan or whatever. So if we go into my computer... Options. Okay. Going to local disk, and we're going to Windows, and then System 32. Scroll down. Oh God! So lucky. I can tell that, um, you know, nothing in here is bad. It's all, you know, good, all okay. Uh, if you go to my user profile, and go to local settings. Location data. That's all good. Application data. No. Nope. So yeah, you know, I, I don't think there's anything more to be said here really. I think Komodo has certainly done a good job. I know that when we did the scan it didn't actually remove anything. But that's purely just because, you know, Komodo think uh in Komodo's mind, I guess they're thinking like, you know, these files really can't they can't do anything to your system anymore because you know that they're just stuck there. They they've just been, if you like, frozen up so that they can't be used. But then you know, I got rid of them by m malware bytes, and really all they're doing is just like detecting the stuff and then removing it. So there's no real challenge for them because of these guys. So I think they've done pretty well, and I think they make a, a great pro a, a really great antivirus considering what it does and what it's capable of. So thanks for watching this video, I hope this helps you guys, I hope that you think well of Komodo, and thanks for watching, have a good night.